Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be doing my July 2021 bullet journal setup. I'm using watercolors for this theme. The theme is cranes and cherry blossoms. Right now I'm drawing a crane in the center of the page with its wings spread out. I recommend using a reference for drawing cranes. This reference has many poses and I really like it. I was inspired by traditional Chinese crane paintings and Japanese cherry blossoms. In the traditional paintings, they usually have no outline, just watercolor or paint, but I'm adding an outline to make it stand out more, and it's also faster for doing in my bullet journal. I really wanted to have a summer theme for July, but I couldn't think of any good themes, so I just settled with what I had, and that turned out to be cranes and cherry blossoms. Right now I'm using watercolor, so first I started with a light gray wash, then I'm adding a darker color on top. I'm doing three layers. Remember to start with the lighter colors first. I'm putting it on every part of the body but leaving some areas for white. This is a red crowned crane so it has darker tip wings. I'm using a darker color for the tips of the wings, the head, the neck, and the tail. I messed up. I wrote July in the water based pen so it'll bleed when I put watercolor later. I don't want it to bleed so I'm covering it up. I traced the circle for the red sun and now I'm using a slightly cool tone purplish red instead of orangey red. I want to make the sun look patchy like the traditional paintings. I'm using a small brush to make it look rough and the watercolor texture will show. A big brush would make a smoother texture. I used a waterproof brush pin for the sakura branches. It's very easy to draw them, it's just a wiggly line. These branches fill in the empty space and frames the page really nicely. The red sun is also inspired by Japanese paintings. The cherry petals are just blobs. I use darker shades and lighter shades. Don't make it too detailed because the main focus is the crane. I'm putting a second layer of red on the red sun to make it pop more. I'm adding wispy clouds and I try to make a goal towards the center to direct the eye. I'm using a third darker color on the wings, this time only on the wing tips. Then I'm using a water-based brush pen for all of the black parts. I tried not to cover up the previous watercolor layer. I left some of the dark gray poking out for a gradient on the wings. You could do watercolor for the black part of the crane, but I like how dark the markers are. The brush pens are really helpful. I can flick it to create a feather texture. I also added some black on the wispy clouds for a shadow. I'm putting another layer of watercolor for the sun because we want it to be really red and saturated. Let's spice up the flower petals with the same red. Now I'm adding some dark gray to the clouds. I'm adding a few little dashes in the red sun to add more interest. This kind of reminds me of how I did the glitch effect in my March 2021 bullet journal. I added subtle flower petal details. For the border, I was kind of deciding whether to do black or red. I decided to do red first because if I didn't like it, I could just cover it up with black. Now is the right time for writing July. I'm adding a white gel pen on the left side of the letters to make it pop. I also fixed up some of the white stripes on the crane's head. Notice anything different? I changed the red border to a black border. I'm also adding some black watercolors to the petals for more depth. It looks a lot better now, right? So for the calendar page, I'm going with a Dutch door spread. That's why I'm leaving the right side empty. I don't have that many events this month, so I decided to make a small calendar. Now I'm starting with the crane outlines. For me, the outlines are probably the most boring part of the process. Painting is much more fun for me, but sometimes you have to get through the boring parts in order to get the final result. For the quote, I'm writing, dive in headstrong, since the crane is diving and flying. Now for the sakura branches. I try not to put too much branches, otherwise it might be too distracting. When I'm painting the cranes, it feels like I'm a painter in ancient times. I wish I had one of those ink grinding sticks like in the historical movies, then it would really feel like I'm a historical painter. I'm 
also creating a black strip for the days of the week's heading. I'm outlining the calendar to add some more contrast and black to the page. I brought these brush pins for calligraphy, but I ended up using them for so many things. I used these brush pins for coloring sakura branches and coloring large black color blocks like on the calendar. I also used them for coloring crane wings. These are super useful and it saves a lot of time. Of course you can just use watercolor if you don't have the black brush pin. I like to add colors from one element of the spread to another part to make it look more cohesive and put together. That's why I added some of the black to the red flowers. I did a Dutch door last month and I really liked it. Especially how I can see a sidebar with the habits and stuff next to it. Now I'm drawing a standing crane on the side. I drew an exercise habit tracker and a notes box. The reason why I only have one habit tracker is because I'm doing it right next to the exercise log. So the exercise habit tracker and log kind of go together. You can also change this table into an expense tracker or a test tracker. I want to focus on exercising more, so I made 20 rows. My goal is to fill all of them in. You know how I use black for the cherry petals? Well, you can also use a water-based black marker when you're drawing the branches, so that when you color the cherry blossoms, it bleeds out and creates the black effect. I added some loose floating cherry blossom petals and some wispy clouds to fill in the space. Now I'm just coloring a dark gray column on the exercise tracker and some drop shadows with dark gray. I'm quickly writing the headings and days of the week. For the exercise tracker, this is just like a regular habit tracker. And here's the finished page. I really like how it turned out. On to the next. Next is the sleep tracker. This is where I'll track how long I slept and what hours I slept or woke up. I'm just drawing a bar graph. This is going to be two separate graphs. So I drew a line in the middle to separate them. I'll show you how to use this sleep tracker later. I'm still trying to find the best setup for a sleep tracker. Hopefully I'll find the right sleep tracker setup for me. Right now I'm drawing cranes flying around the bottom. It kind of connects the two pages together, so I'm going to do the habit tracker and sleep tracker both at the same time. For the quote, I wrote, fly to the sky and let it all go. The cherry blossoms look like spooky Halloween trees without the petals. I'm going to draw six mini habit trackers. I'll show you how to use it at the end. So now let's get rid of that Halloween spooky trees and turn it into a pretty cherry blossom branch. Cherry blossoms are a really popular theme. I've seen a lot of people do bullet journals for it. So it might be too overdone if I just made a theme about cherry blossoms. That's why adding some cranes and cherry blossoms makes it more unique. When I was painting the cranes, I tried a new method. I only did two layers. I skipped the third darker layer. You'll see why later. Watercolor is my favorite medium. It's really relaxing and fun. I used to be a colored pencils fan, but I think colored pencils takes too long and hurts my hands after a while. The only downside of watercolors is that it wrinkles the bullet journal pages, so it kind of bulks it up. I wanted to do a bullet journal video outside, kind of like my last journal with me video, but the weather was really bad and it's really hard to film outside because it has to be the perfect weather with, with no wind. I didn't really get a chance to draw the red sun again, so now I'm adding it behind the crane. I was afraid the words might bleed when I colored it over with red, 
since they're water-based markers, but it turned out quite fine. I really like coloring with watercolor or a brush pen. I think it's the soft, flexible tip that makes it fun to color. I used a water-based pen so it kind of bleeds into the water and creates a lighter gray color for the wings. That's why I didn't do the third watercolor layer like before. I like this method a lot more. I wish I did this sooner. The crane's head is a stripe pattern. So for the habit tracker, I just created a black sidebar for writing my habits. This is how you use the sleep tracker. So there's two sections. One is for the bedtimes and one is for the wake up times. At that side you have the dates and at the bottom you have the hours. Let's pretend today is the 12th. I'm going to draw a line all the way till it reaches the hour that I slept. I'm going to do the same for the wake up times. I'm going to start at the horizontal line for 12 and I'm going to draw a line up to the hour that I woke up. The habit tracker is super simple. You just color in the box if you completed the habit that day. The shorter the line is, the later I slept or the later I woke up. I love this page the most. Now on to the weekly spread. Again, I'm doing a Dutch door spread. So this time I'm cutting it horizontally in half instead of vertically. I'm cutting two pages in half and then I'm going to rip off the top part. I might need to take a break from Dutch doors next month. I did way too many this month and last month. Don't forget to save those scraps that you cut off. You can use them for fixing up mistakes. So on the bottom of the Dutch door, it has multiple weeks. I'm doing multiple weeks all at once instead of doing it separately because recently my weeks have been pretty much the same. So I just need to use the same layout for all the weeks. On the top of drawing a brain dump and a summer plan. The brain dump is where I write all my thoughts and ideas. The summer plan is where I write my goals for each week of July. I forgot to put floating petals around the page, but I added some off camera. On the brain dump, I divided the section into YT and Etsy. This was actually supposed to be a cherry blossom, but I got confused and turned it into a cloud, so now I'm fixing it into a cherry blossom. I left some white spaces next to the cherry blossom branch so that I could put the watercolored flowers on top. I'm using dark gray to color in the clouds and drop shadows. So now for the weekly spread. This is where I'll write my to-do list and task for each day. I started on week 2 since week 1 only had 3 days. I ended on week 4, so there's 3 weeks in total in this spread. Each week has the same layout, but I'm adding different drawings on each page. I didn't do week 5 because I want to do a different layout for the last week of July. It will make sure that if I need changes, then I can just create a spread to suit my needs. I left spaces in between the boxes for crane drawings on top. Things like leaving spaces in the lines is the result of sketching and planning out beforehand. I don't know how some people can just do it without sketching. I always sketch out everything and it makes me feel more confident when filming since I know what exactly I need to do. I'm using the same method as the previous page for coloring the cranes. I'm also adding drop shadows in between all the boxes. So first I started with lighter gray and then added a medium gray on top of the wing. Lastly, I'm going to be coloring the cranes 
with a darker black marker. Theme is really simple. I only use three colors, black, white, and red. And that's the finished cherry blossoms. And now for the final slip through. This is my favorite thing so far. If you like watercolor spreads, you should check out my other Venice watercolor theme. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.